In this video, we are going to discuss about which are the signs, the four signs in your palm, which shows about your love and relationships. We can certainly see from the palm that how is overall love and relationships going to be in one's life, whether the person is going to get a lot of love, how will be relationships, how will be romance, are you a romantic person, yes, no, everything could be analyzed very, very precisely from the palm. So watch this video till the end and let's understand, let's go through which are those lines, those signs in the palm which, which can speak a lot about love and romance, right? So let's start this video. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing it now. Hit the bell icon so that you can get more interesting videos on Vedic astrology, palmistry, numerology and many such interesting videos. All right, so let's start this video. Uh, the very first sign in the palm, in your palm, which is associated is with the planet Venus. Venus in astrology, Venus in the world of palmistry is considered as one of the best planet which really, you know, helps in love and is the significator of attraction, relationship and Venus is like the god of romance, correct? Venus is god of love. So, on your palm, if you see very carefully, below the thumb area, where we have this mount of Venus, right here, if you have one strong line going like this, I'm sure a lot of people would have like two or three lines, but if you have one strong line, like very prominent line going like this, on the mount of Venus, that means that you have a great blessings coming in from the planet Venus in your life, there's going to be a lot of abundance in your life related to romance, very good relationship with people around you. And at the same time, you'll be certainly be very charming personality. You are going to be the apple of everyone's eye around you, literally. Venus is related to attraction. Venus is related to luxury, sophistication. And Venus is also the god of, you know, love and romance. So one line over here, just below the thumb, on the Mount of Venus, specifically here, you see this pink line. If you have this, then this is absolutely very good sign for you to understand like love and relationships. Comment below, let me know if you have this specific line. And if you're watching this video, if possible, hit the like button. Let me know you're watching this video. I really appreciate your you know comments, your likes coming in on this channel. It really helps me a lot to work really hard for you to bring more interesting, knowledgeable videos to share my experience and knowledge of Vedic astrology and palmistry which I have been doing in the last 13 years so far. So there's one thing which I wanted to also convey today with regards to this Venus line. Of course many of you might have like two or three lines but if you have one like a very strong line starting from the tip of this thumb over here and going all the way down, that is auspicious. Now there could be a lot of conditions. Every palm is different. Every energy is different. Every life is different. So there could be like, you know, some would have like slant lines, vertical lines, some would have horizontal lines. But one thing which you have to be very careful today, guys, is if there is any vertical lines cutting over here, the line of Venus, if any lines cut the line of Venus, that is not good. That is really not good for the love and relationship because there could be some betrayal, some trust issues like you trusted someone but in love but someone eventually didn't you know trust you and was not very good in relationship with you. So just take care of this. The second line which I wanted to show you today is connected with the mount of moon. So just at the base of your palm right here if you have like one line going like this now here a lot of people would have like multiple lines more the lines more the love more the romance more your romantic person in life but one strong line going like this is also a very strong indication of love and a very good abundance in romance why because moon is considered as one of the most romantic planet in vedic astrology because there's a story behind it i'll definitely cover this story in my next vedic astrology video like why moon is the significator of love and relationships moon is emotional Moon is feminine, moon is beautiful, moon is very creative and at the same time moon is romance too. A combination of Venus and moon, like if you have Venus and moon, then you are the most charming personality. Comment below, let me know if you have this moon line because a lot of people, a lot of you might already have a couple of moon lines which is good, which is also signifies that you are very creative in, in your approach. Such people, 
people with a strong moon line, they know how to deal with others in relationship. They know how to carry yourself with others, how to handle issues or how to handle surprises, how to handle things in relationship. So that's a very positive sign, I would say, because moon in Vedic astrology is the significator of, as I said, is the significator of love. So that's, that is, you know, one of the very auspicious sign overall. Now the third sign, now this one is very important. You see this heart line, you might, most of you, I mean, every one of you might have this heart line going in. If this heart line of yours is slightly curvy, that's very good. The quality of heart line is good because we all know whenever we are talking about love, relationship, things are coming in right from the heart and not from here. People who are thinking materialistically, people who are thinking very logically, people who are very analytical in like love and relationship, they might not be great in it, but people who are like slightly have this feeling of emotionality, slightly have this feeling of, you know, giving away in love, in relationship, in humanity. That is absolutely very good. And the curvy heart line signifies that. A straight heart line, you might be cold hearted, you might not be very caring personality, but a curvy heart line, awesome. 10 on 10 marks for that. So if the curvy heart line stops right below the index finger, this first finger somewhere over here. So that is also a very good sign because Jupiter, this is the finger of Jupiter. It's associated with abundance. Heart line going right here, it signifies good health, good love and good relationships around you. You will, you tend to have like a very good family scenarios over here. And a curvy heart line simply signifies that when we are talking about love, love has nothing to do with expecting to get from others. Love is all about, you know, how we give away to the world, to the life. A curvy heart line is something which we need today in the world, wherein there's so much going around in the world. People are literally not considering humanity, nature, those things. People are materialistic. Everyone wants to be successful in their career, earn millions and billions of rupees. But where is love? Love is, if the heart line reaches right here, below the index finger, that signifies a good humanity and you will definitely go do very good for others. Typically astrology, if I see, couple of zodiac signs are very good based on the Navamsha, based on the moon sign, based on your ascendant sign, specifically ascendant sign. If those are like, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, intense love, intense relationship, Pisces, emotional, Cancer is sensitive and Libra is associated with, you know, romance, luxury, beauty, attraction and charm. So that's Libra. So these are like the four zodiac signs which are like very, very great in love and relationships. Comment below and let me know if you're any one of them. Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, if you're Pisces. Even Leos are like very good in, in love and relationships. Virgos are more like analytical. They believe in give and take. Okay, I'm giving you this much time. I need to get this much time from you. I have this expectation in return. I have that expectations from you. That's a Virgo like expectations a lot. And there are many other zodiac signs. I will certainly discuss all the zodiac signs and their love and relationship in my upcoming video. But let's focus on the palm. The one sign which I wanted to, you know, show you is actually associated with the color of your palm. Just check what is the color of your palm. Don't check the color of your palm if you're coming from cold or if you're coming from outdoor because that would affect. But if you're in your house for some hours, just raise your palm and just see at first glance, what do you see the color of your palm? If the color of your palm is slightly pinkish or slight reddish overall, that is also a very good indication of a very romantic person. Yes. So that's just, this is very auspicious. Such people really attract a lot of people around them. Such people really attract good behavior. You know, they really have good behavior at your workplace, uh, at home, in social at family everywhere. So that is also, you know, one, one good sign. And lastly, one very important remedy, which I wanted to give you the most important tip for the day for everyone of you try this thing for 45 days. I challenge you, you can change a lot of your aura, your energies, and you can really manifest a lot of things. Now, here's the thing. Check your palms. If there's dryness in your palm, like your palms, your hands are very dry because of cold, because of, you know, work or anything. Dryness is not considered good when we are talking about love and relationships. More the dry the hand, less is going to be 
you know, love and romance and relationship in your life. So if the palm stays very moisturized, soft hands, moisturized palms without any dryness at the back of the palm or the front of the palm, that is very good sign. Keep your palm always moisturized. That is amazing. You can use like hand creams, hand lotions, or even if you can, if you have like an oil or something, you can use oil on your palm and keep it moisturized because more the moisturizer your palm is, more attraction, more money, more abundance is going to come. Or keeping like rose quartz. A lot of people keep rose quartz at their home or they wear rose quartz. Comment below if you have a lot of rose quartz around you. That's a very good sign. Very lucky crystals. Uh, lucky energies, you know, positive energies around you. But keeping your uh, hands moisturized is something which is going to be very good. I live in Canada. It tends to get very cold over here, uh, specifically in winters. Uh, comment below, let me know if you're Canada. Let me, you know, have a shout out from all our Canadian friends on this channel. It would be great to, you know, say hi to every one of you. All right, so this were all the signs. I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for subscribing the channel. Hit the like button, let me know how did you enjoy this video. Share this video with your friends, your family. It could really help for them to understand all these concepts and knowledge of palmistry. I will see you next time in another interesting video on Vedic astrology or palmistry or if you have any suggestions for me to do any video, any zodiac sign, anything which you want to really learn and understand, you are most welcome to comment and let me know because I read every comment of yours like you know literally my, I have my phone and all the comments coming below I you know try to reply to every one of you and I try to see all your comments beautiful comments which you've been doing so with this let's park our discussion here and see you next time goodbye